Okay, so we have to see ratio test, see if, hey, in Beirach Echod, Hagoyim and La'atzmai, when it's Chav and Lohitzi is Chaveirai, so one person is making Hagoyim El, and he has in mind, he might see his friend, for Shama Chaveir of a Kivin Lotzeis, and the friend has in mind to be Yotza, Yotza Afidu Belo Aniyas Omein, Kim Isha Mavorech Gamkin Chayev Yotza Acher Belo Aniyas Omein. And therefore, he's going to see others like we did on Monday, right? So one of us made a gomel and we might see the others, uh, then that works. Okay, no mission for on that. Why, do, why, do, why does everyone do it then? Separately? Yeah. Um, I don't know. That, uh, it's, it's quicker, I suppose, for one person to do it. In school, we do there's that. No, there's no berev on over here? I don't know. In school, we do it because, you know, they can't have so many kids. It's, uh, yeah, but hey, I always thought it's because people, everyone should see that they've been away. <laughs> I see in the I session later. Like people say, Bench Goyimel, and you should see, oh, I've been away. Yeah, I know that there's yeah. any session later. Yeah, maybe. All right, Vov. Im Eichar. Now, so how, how long have you got to do it? So, you know, a person travels, whatever it is. Im Eichar, or he's ill, and how long has he got to say, Al Goyimel? Im Eichar, if he delays from saying it, Yeshle Tashlum in the Vorech calls Mansha Yirtze. He's got as long as he wants to really make it up. Try and avoid going more than three days. So that's what that's what uh, people seem to say that it's uh, not more than three days. Says Mishnah Bura Yutes im Eicha Rotzelo Mashlo Berich B'Shasha Olam Anayom. He didn't do it straight away. B'Shasha Chazal Leburi Emichulaso. He didn't do it as soon as he came up from the sea or if he recovered from his illness. So then he's got as long as he. There's no real time limit. However, uh, he should try and do it within three days. The Adzman Zeh says Mishvurah Karim Bomin Aderech because that's still called you've you know you're you're Bomin Aderech you've just returned from the journey. V'Kosvu V'Kosvu Achreinim Tafilu Yitzdarich B'Shvil Zeh Levarich Shaloi B'Sefer Torah B'Kafiyah Minag. Even if that means that you can't do it in front of a Sefer Torah, Ava Pichin Al Yachar Yosem Mishlei Shiyamim. So if it means you're not going to hit the Sefer Torah in time, then don't delay. Do it. Just get ten people and do it in front of them. For example, he emerges on Monday after they've already laid in the Kriya Satorah. Because by waiting till Thursday, really it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So therefore, if you're waiting for Thursday, it's beyond three days. Uh, and you've missed Kriya Satorah on the Monday. So just, just find ten men and do it in front of them. If you look at 22, uh, it's interesting. It's uh, with regard to that, cause of behal ochel el, that sheaf she yishli kriyas kodim laachirim, kimen shenogu levarich b'shas kriyas haTorah, mikol makom ena doicha shum chiyuv. So uh, the, the need to say hagoymel is not doicha another chiyuv. So if a person's got yard site and someone's just come back from an, from the hospital or something, so he he doesn't uh, the person who's got a proper chiyuv, for example uh, yard site or whatever it is, uh, he he gets kadima. Because you don't need to do it when you get called up. And therefore, better to do that and not do it, not get the aliyah, and give the aliyah to the person who's properly mechuyiv in it. Which is what we do. That you go to the bimah and you do it straight after Kriya Satora. Okay, Zion. So we raise your test to see Zion. But Ashkenaz with Sofras in Germany and in France, Ein Mavarchen Kishalchen Meir Leir. You travel from one city to another, you don't need to make a Birchas Agoimel. Shalachivu El Bahochim in Boris. Because Chazal were only masakin the brach of Hagoimel if you go through a midbar. Because it's a dangerous place, there's wild animals, there's bandits, and uh, that they were masakin for that. However, over Sfarad Nagim Levarich in in Spain, they were noheg to make a bracha of Hagoimel when you went Meir Leir. Because because there the roads are dangerous and there is a chazaka of a sakona. Less than a parsa, you don't make a bracha. A parsa is um, 72 minutes, we normally say, which is uh, it's a measure of, we'll see in a second. But it's, uh, we say we normally equate it to 72 minutes. For him who mock a muxuk per sakona be yoser, I feel a pachas in parsa. And if you go on a journey which is a very dangerous place, even less than a parsa would require hagoimel. Says the Mishnah Bura. Uh, 
the sphere of the brach of Zul Shavuot in Berachas Tefillah Tzurah Zaderach is similar to Tzurah Zaderach. The Elbow Simon Kuf Yud Ein Sham. Or Miu, but Pachas Mizev is very dangerous. Then even a lesser journey. The Bemachem Kara of Kazer, but Vada Lav Becheska Sakonahu. And unless it's a very dangerous thing, then you would make Hagoymel. So if you look at twenty four, he says that in reference to Tzurah Zaderach, he says Kosum Kosum Shehu Tali Bemerchak Vule Bezman. Well, there. Um, which we said previously in Kuf Yud that it's totally in distance, not in time. So you could be going on a train journey, which is less than the shear of uh, Parsa, which is approximately four kilometers. Even if it takes you know less than 72 minutes to get there, but you cover the amount of distance that uh, is, is a Parsa, as I say, about four kilometers. For Chayin Kozav Apesach Apesach Tver, the Nyaneinu Vevyeni Leuruches Chaim, Vakafa Chaim. However, Lagabi Chiv Lechapis Mam Tilis Yudaim at Parsa, but we also have the Parsa when it comes to Tilis Yudaim. How far do you have to look for water before you can, uh, before you know, if you want to have your bread? Kozav Vir Alocha Shein Machashrim Lefi Oirech Haderech Lefi Cheshpen Azman. There we we Cheshpen the time. Val Kain Benesir Be Be Pois Sorech Laharchik. Yeah, so when it comes to it's a share in the Zman. So for example, if you're we said 18 minutes if you're stationary, if you're going back, or 72 minutes if you're ahead of you. So if you're looking for, you know, you're washing, you're driving on the motorway, and uh, you're going to get a service station in half an hour, so you should wait. If that's the only place where you're going to get water, so you can pull up and you get water and you wash until it's a dime. But if it's more than 72 minutes, then you can hold it in the, you know. Also if you're looking for a minute. Yeah, same with a minion, it's a dinner of the time. Yeah, same 18 and 72 minutes. Yeah, Nacham. Okay, good. Ches. Yeah, Ches. Now, the question really is an important one, is when do you make Hagoymel? What type of illness that a person recovers from requires Hagoymel? So says the Machaba. Any illness a person recovers from, really he needs to make the brach of Hagoymel. Afidu eina chayli shal sakona. Even if it's not a dangerous illness, he wasn't like wounded. And a kol she ola lemitz of a yard, where he went, he went, he had to, he was bed bound, bed bound, bed bound, uh, the yard, and he uh, then uh, and then he recovered. Because it's similar to where he was male legardim. What does that mean? Pirush male sheosin dayonim loshevus kashedon in lodo. In those, you know, the, those days, you sort of you had a court case and you were tried. And uh, in a way, a person who's bedbound for so many days is considered uh, having this, this sort of noose hanging over his neck. Is is in a is in a, is in a precarious situation. It doesn't make a difference if one gets this repeatedly or not. Uh, it's uh, he still needs to bench goimel. Now the remote has got a slightly different standard. That, uh, the Ramal says, no, we only make a bracha of Hagoymel on an illness where there was a sakana. Kagoyin makashal cholov, there was like an internal injury. Uh, that's the Tur B'Shem the Rived. V'chein nagin ba'ashkenaz. So it comes out according to the Ramal that uh, Ashkenazim would only make the bracha of Hagoymel if there was a sakana. Um, according to the Machaba, even if there was no actual sakana, but he was uh, confined to bed for, uh, we're going to see, I think, three days in Shabur says. Okay, Kol Sha'ol Lemitzah, says Mishim Ruch Haftalet, Avol Im Lei Ol Lemitzah Klal, but if he never was actually confined to bed, Ra'ak Sh'yesh Le'ez HaMeichush Pa'al Mabereish, he had a headache, or a grain of a chayag gavna, he had a sore throat, E'en Mavarech Afil Ledezu, even according to the first opinion, which is a slightly lighter standard, you would not need to bench Goimel for something as minor as that. Mepnei Sh'doyim HaKami Sh'elohu, but uh, we said because it's, if a person is bed bound, it's as if he's in uh, his Ola Lagardim. Says the Mishnah Bura, Shein on Yodim Echi Yetzidina. We don't know how his din is going to turn out. Kamoy Kain, Bechelish, Kivin Shinofel, and Mishkov, Ein on Yodim Sofa. If a person is, Rachon uh, is, is confined to his bed because of a certain illness, he's suddenly taken ill. Shekamah Pa'amim Afal Pishat Chilos Eloi Sakon. Even it could be that initially it wasn't dangerous. The Sof Miskaberis. And the basof miskaberes hamachlo bole de sakona. At the end, it could be dangerous. It could transform into something more more serious. Okay, um, and then we said. Then the mechaber said, "There's no difference between yeshle mechish kavua 
or bomb is man is man. Whether he's got a fit, you know, he's always got this, or whether it just comes periodically, uh, it doesn't make a difference. If his bed bound, says the Machaba, he's going to have to uh, make a Hagoimel. Now, as if said, a person gets these things from time to time, uh, you don't say that, hey, you know, we've been there before, and Eimbo Sakana, Eimbo Kain, for other rabbi, Kolshul Kavu, Yosem is Chazik, on the contrary, if you get it repeatedly, then actually it can come back more severely. Even though miracles have happened previously and he's been saved from it, and you can't be so much on the fact there'll be a nace every time. Okay. So the Machaba says that so long as a person is bed bound, whether he has these things from time to time, whether it just came for the first time, and he recovers from it, he needs to bench Goimel. Uh, but the Ramos says a slightly different standard, a more a higher standard, i.e., it's got to be a Choyli Shi Yeshbe Sakona. Says Rashi, says Nishmur, Kagoin Mako Shel Cholo, Aisha Choyli Shel Sakona, Kagoin Kadachas Kolaguf, Shekorin Shioidrin, which is some sort of chills where he's sort of, you know, he's, he's hot and cold. Now, uh, let's just finish then with a few interesting horrors. Some people are knowing like the Machaba, that if they've just been in bed for a few days, then they have to bench Goimel. That if someone is sick and his whole body is ill, and that sort of illness, you can be mechal shabbos al yidei non-Jew. Mevarech ha'goymel, that would bench goymel. Behavi came b'shem eretvaz. V'chein zeh kosov gam kein achai odom. Ach she kosov she mekol mokum loy varech el mekein nofel lemitzel lepachas mishleishi yomim. So according to that, it's got to be that your person was in bed for at least three days. So it was it was quite serious. V'ayim b'halacha. Because if it's less than three days and there is a sakona, then you still need to bench goimel. So a couple of interesting things. Number one, um, what about a person? Um, yeah, what about a person who has an operation? So he has a general anesthetic. He has a local anesthetic. Does he need to bench goimel after that? So if you look at twenty-five, he says. Um, at the end of the very last sentence, the Ryashav is of the opinion, which means anyone who has a general anesthetic, that's his rule. Anyone who has a general anesthetic, you bench Hagoimel. But if it's a local anesthetic, then not. That's Ryashav's Gede. Um, and also, what about a person who has a, a bris, a man who has a bris later in life? Is is um, a balchuva or something like that? So he says in twenty six, Adam Vugar she nimel be begrusay, kasa gomishlem ezam in arbach she yivarech laachas yisrape. After he is healed from his bris mila, you know, later in life, he needs to bench goimel. What about a ger, a ger who also he converts and he has a bris mila when he converts? So the problem is that he has his bris mila before he's gone to mikvah. So therefore, doing uh, benching Hagoimel before he's been to the mikveh is not going to help him. So he says, "Omnon ger shenimel enim avarich lachat tefila kimen shebizman hasakona hayu begviyosu begviyosu." Because when he was in Mokum Sakona, he wasn't yet Jewish, and therefore a, a, a bal tshuva who has a bris for whatever reason he couldn't have bris when he was younger and he has it older, then the post can say he makes Hagoimel. Mashenkin a ger who converts later in life. He does not bench uh, Goimel for the bris because he was, at the time when he was in danger, he was not yet Jewish. And therefore, there was no chiv of Hagoimel. Yeah, okay, let's do tests and finish off. Um, now, this is very interesting. What about, we've mentioned four categories, right? This is what we mentioned uh, um, uh, at the beginning of the Sif. We said uh, Chaim was the, was the Rosh Tevas. That uh, Chavush, someone who is uh, imprisoned and was released, Yisurim. Uh, he was sick and he became better. Yom, he travels over the sea. Or Midbar, he travels in the thing, which is Rosh Tevis Chaim. Chovash, Yisurim, Yom, and Midbar. But says the Mishnah, says the Machaber and Tess, Hani Abo, Lav Dafka. These four is Lav Dafka, these categories only. Anybody who had some sort of miracle, Kugain, Shenofel, Lav Koisel, 
a wall falls nearby him, next to him, and he's walking. He's saved from a raging bull. There's a lion walking around town. There were some robbers who broke into his house. All of these situations, you need to bench HaGoymel. We're not limiting it dafka to these four categories. However, the Yeshomrim says, you, you do limit it to these four, and therefore, uh, better to, 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 to bench Goymel without mentioning the Shem Hashem. Okay, let's see the mission Mishnah. In Chavtes, in Ganovim Bo, Rotzolema, for your curve of Sakon Al Yodom, he was in a real dangerous situation. Uchadel Besef Simon Reishut Ches, Kulim Srichim, for Afal Pikin, Kashiagil, and Mokum Shinasa Bayanes, Yvarach Gam, Shaosinis Mokum Azeh, if there was a very, very serious danger. For I'm Besim Reishut Ches, if Tes, which we did. Shom Yesh Plukta, Yvarach Shaosinis, because Shinitsu Kader Hateva. Okay. Ela Hani Arbo, Mishum Shimitsu and Biyosa. We only mentioned these four because that, that's the more regular, common occurrence. But if he encountered bandits on the way and if his life was in danger, then for sure he makes a goimel. Good, but the Yeshem will say without Hashkar Shem Malchus. The minig is for Rishona, for Chain Mistabas. So fascinating. The minig is that you make it whenever you're in a Mokum Sakona and love Dafka, these four categories. So, to, to a few interesting horrors. Number 20, uh, 29. For Chain Kosvel El, Sakon Venitzel, Shetzorch Levarech. If a person never has a break in in his house and there were Ganovim in the house, then uh, you need to bench Goimel, because, you know, if they break in, who knows what could happen, and therefore one, uh, one should make a um, Goimel. Now, what about Chayalim? So he says here in the next paragraph in 29, right, which is very common nowadays. They come back from the war. They were there for, for a period of weeks or whatever, and then they come back for a few days. Even though they didn't see you know, active uh, fighting or there was imminent danger, if they were in a dangerous place, which certainly in Gaza nowadays would be, uh, then uh, and therefore they would need to make. And then, look at this, also interesting. Um, oh, okay, yeah, I'll just tell you something interesting. Yesterday in school, we had three boys who were displaced, never thousands of Yidin in Eretz Israel, displaced. They, they've been moved, relocated, because they're near Gaza. So they're three boys who were in a kibbutz, less than a kilometer from Gaza. So they were in the day. So we had boys, they, the, the terrorists came into their house, they were in their safe room, they were roaming around the house, and, and Baruch Shem, they managed to survive, and they didn't break in. Anyway, they, they're now in a hotel somewhere further north. But uh, so they came, but, but, so they came into school, so they came into my shirim, and I wanted to have the shirim there, and I interviewed them, and they told their story, what happened on the day, etc. So I said to the boys, I said, tell me, have you made the brach of HaGoymel? They were in a mob, mob Sakona, they were armed terrorists in the house, and, they did, and others, you know, we know what happened. So one of the boys said he had, and the other two not. So I said, okay, so let's do it. Yeah, you should do it. I did it within three days, but if you're not, you, there's no, you, you, you're not limited to three days if you didn't manage. So they took a made our yesterday in Shea, and we all stood up, they made it, there was plenty more than 10 people, and uh, they said the bracha, we answered to them, and uh, it was very powerful. It was very interesting. Let me just, what, uh, just two more points. What about a car accident? A person's in Rechon is in a car accident, does he bench a goimel? What get there of danger for a car accident? So very interesting. In, thir- in footnote 30, he says this, Ochashenitzel mitunas drachim, kosu v'shal sigurus meisha, and meisha says, she'im pagu v'nogu ha'machene zu bezu, v'lo husku, if cars hit each other, and there was no injury, y'mevorach ha'goimel. So Ramosha and Ramosha and both say that if there was contact made between cars and there was no injury, then you bench Goimel. There's got to be, Mamish, there was a proper Sakona. And it's not just they hit each other, there was a proper Sakona. And um, what about if, if there was an accident and the car, the driver swerved at the last moment and he avoided the crash? 
the crash. The mitzliach anag berega achron nistay sulatzer to stop or to swerve away. Das agonu beliashiv she loy yivarech and Rebbe Nisikaret as well. That if he avoided a crash by swerving away or by breaking in time, he doesn't need to. Uh, one final point we've discussed: what about air travel? Does one person need to make? So that is a machlekes, uh, but Moshe's opinion that you do make for air travel. And his reasoning is that it's like sea travel. All of the above is talking about when you're going through dangerous places. But sea travel is a different geda because your person is in a, it's, the de- degree of danger is irrelevant. You're in a very vulnerable situation. If a person, if the, sea, if the boat capsizes, you're, you're in trouble. You're not going to last very long. And so too, if you're in, a, in the air, if, the chastram, if something goes wrong, then you're in a vulnerable situation. Therefore, Amosha says, even if you don't go over the sea, um, you would still need to make Birchas HaGoymel. And so it's a machlik, it's in the post game, but uh, that's what Amosha says.